As an experienced foreigner living in the Philippines, you will most likely have a good grasp of what life is like and perhaps even have your own tips and tricks that you wish to share. So let me know, what tips and tricks have you picked up while living in the Philippines? But for now, let's take a look at seven tips that I would give for expats who are living in the Philippines. Take a look at the ferry prices if you are looking to save. One of the great things about living in the Philippines as a foreigner is that the country is highly accessible in most areas. With over 7,000 islands, the transportation authorities have made accessibility one of their main priorities, including offering several transportation options such as ferries. Flights are often more convenient, but can be more expensive. Thus, if you are looking to save money during your trips around the country, it's recommended first to check out the local ferry prices as there are are some great deals to be had. Naturally, the prices will differ depending on the season and demand. Take advantage of the reward systems. Another advantage for living full-time in the Philippines is that there are several reward programs for regular members and customers. Most likely, you will come across common reward programs such as those found on the Grab app. But Lazada, Robinsons, SM, Smart, 7-Eleven and Vikings all have reward-based systems. If possible, obtain full health insurance and private insurance. Regular viewers will know that I previously explored the topic of health insurance in the Philippines. But as you are most likely aware, Phil's Health is the national public healthcare system of the Philippines. And even though it's very cost effective, it may not cover you fully compared to private insurances. If you find yourself in and out of hospital frequently, you may find it beneficial to obtain a field health insurance as well as private insurance. This is not something that I have done previously, however, I have heard stories of expats doing this to maximize their protection while living in the Philippines. If investing, choose the Philippines Stock Exchange. After living in the Philippines, you may be interested in financial opportunity in the country. However, as we are aware, there are several scams in the financial world and business and investment scams are extremely prevalent. Therefore, choosing an investment into the Philippine Stock Exchange is often seen as a much safer investment for foreign investors. Keep an eye on your food habits. Filipino food is amazing, but over the years it has got a reputation as being slightly unhealthy. GMO, sugar and unhealthy fats are known to be leading properties of local cuisine. Expats who have lived in the Philippines for many years will likely know just how easy it is to gain a little bit of extra weight and become slightly sluggish after indulging in local cuisine. This is not to say that Filipino food is unhealthy, but foods popular with foreigners tend to be slightly unhealthy, thus it's recommended to keep an eye on this to avoid any ill health. When dating, handle arguments carefully. The great thing about dating in the Philippines is that Filipinos have fire in their soul. But one story I've heard repeatedly from friends and acquaintances over the years is about how difficult it is to communicate with Filipinos during an argument. In other words, tampo. As we know, everybody is different and as much as possible, we try to avoid generalization on this channel. So as a disclaimer, I will say that this is not everybody. But it seems in most cases, if you annoy a Filipina, she will completely ignore you. In the Western world, we often speak about how communication is important for conflict resolution. This is often where the difficulty arises. As mentioned, this is not everybody, but it's interesting just how many independent stories I've come across over the years. Start a side project or a side hustle. This tip for living in the Philippines is not the most essential but if you find yourself having free time and some disposable cash, you may decide to dive into the world of business. Alternatively, you could invest in a small Filipino business. For example, I recently invested in a premium coffee vending machine business. I found this opportunity by using the websites that I mentioned in my latest video where we talked about how to invest in a small Filipino business.